Hello! On the right-hand side of the screen, you see a beautiful abstract geometric painting by the Russian artist Vasily Kandinsky. You'll notice he uses a lot of 2D geometric shapes. He overlaps those shapes. He has different values of some of the same colors. Um, as you look through it, you might see that here the blue goes from being uh, kind of a medium blue. The value lightens and becomes a lighter blue here. Likewise here, the orange value changes. We're going to try to create a geometric piece of art like Vasily Kandinsky's piece, but we're going to also use some tools to help us do it. We're going to use some rulers to create straight lines, but we're also going to use the compass to help us create circles. I have two kinds of compass that I'd like to share with you today. This is the more traditional type of compass that you, you may be accustomed to seeing, but I want to teach you how to use this compass, which also allows you to measure the distance around parts of a circle. They're both called a compass. So this one has some adjustment screws on it. The screw in the middle lets you change the angle of the opening. And at first glance, this compass may appear to be the same at the ends, but it's not the same at the ends. This is a metal spindle that creates a central axis and this is a pencil lead. So this point stays still and this point travels like this. When you're ready to draw a circle, you place the metal point down wherever you want the center of the circle to be. Then you're going to draw with the lead. I always find it is very useful to hold the metal spindle and make sure that area stays still. You don't want to let that move. If you let it move like I just did, you're not going to end up with a perfect circle. So once you place your metal spindle down, don't let it move. It's very difficult to create circles with this type of compass. It has two more adjustment screws down here so you can change the length that the metal spindle and the lead stick out. They need to be at exactly the same length extending from the bottom of the compass. So sometimes you have to close the compass and check and make sure they're extending exactly the same length. I'll try it one more time, and this time I'd like to try doing a smaller circle. I'm going to place my metal spindle in the same impression that I've made. That's another thing that's a disadvantage about using this type of compass. It can put holes through your artwork. As I draw, I'm trying to make sure that metal spindle does not move, and that only my lid is traveling around in a circle. So as you can see, this compass is not only challenging to use, it can also be dangerous because that's a very sharp metal point. Now let's take a look at the plastic compass. This has circles that you can trace. You can trace the exterior of it by holding it still and tracing all around the exterior. Notice I never let it move while I'm tracing it. However, today I want to show you how to use these small holes to create concentric circles of varying sizes. When you look at the compass, it has one side that has a raised bump on it. That raised bump is your pivot point. It creates a central axis that your pencil moves around. It's kind of like the metal point on the traditional compass. It stays still while your pencil moves around. So when I place this compass down, I'm going to put my finger right in the middle of that point. You'll see that when I do that, the compass still turns freely, but that central point does not change position. When I draw a circle, I pick one of these small holes, place my pencil in it. I like to keep it very straight up and down. 
and draw lightly. And when I get to my finger, I have to put my pencil underneath my finger to complete the circle. I'm going to create another circle a little bit further out. Again, I have to put my pencil under my finger to complete the circle and bring it all the way around to connect. Let's do one more. This time I'm going to use this point furthest out. And there I go putting my pencil underneath my finger to complete the circle. And that's the result. The plastic compass is much faster, safer, and easier to use than the metal compass. I hope you get the opportunity to try both as you're creating your abstract art inspired by Vasily Kandinsky.